Hey guys, let's talk about um, two different things right now. Six inch reflecting telescope, six inch refractor. Welcome to the Joe Jaguar show. Okay guys, so obviously this one here is a Skywatcher, six inch, F8, ED or apochromatic. Um, it's a doublet, not a triplet. And the one right beside it is a six inch F5 reflecting telescope. Now, as you can see, there's a huge <clears throat> difference in length, weight between these two. And what are these two good for? Basically, this guy here is six inch F5, 750 millimeter focal length. So that's good for wide field, deep sky uh, imaging and viewing. Where this guy, even if it was an acromat, would be more, you know, an F8 is considered um, medium. It's not really long, even though it, it looks very long. Um, here's the glass, hard to see. But um, yeah, so, but being an apochromatic, this guy here, Canadian, the um, that one, the Evo Star, is about thirty-two hundred and fifty dollars before tax. Ends up being about thirty-five hundred, so it is pretty expensive. Now, if you buy a um, just a regular six inch of eight Acromat, Explorer Scientific sells one, and it's about eleven hundred Canadian plus tax, so that's about one third the cost. Uh, this guy, again. Uh, it's a little bit harder to do high power viewing. Um, it's uh, harder to do a high power viewing because of its short focal length and ratio, only 750 millimeter focal length. And this guy is 1200 millimeter focal length. So you're going to have coma in this guy, but uh, it's going to give you a really wide field of views. Uh, probably almost like 40% bigger than this guy. However, I do think the refractor is, uh, will collect more light. Uh, they're both six inches, yes, but this is a pure refractor with no central obstruction. And being a refractor will just collect more uh, light based on the mirrors on any reflector. But this one, you can go wider. This one's gonna have coma. And uh, that one, uh, you can correct it with a coma corrector, but you know, it'll probably be three to four hundred dollars minimum for a entry to medium range. Now, really, if you were to say which one would be better, there are two different scopes for two different things. If you want one that uh, will do high planetary views, you really can't go much better than uh, this guy here. Um, and if you want something to do more wide field, you can do that one. However, if this is only F8, 1200 millimeter focal length, if you put a really low power eyepiece, two inch, you can get some semi to large field views as well. F8 is not that long, but this one, you'll just get a little wider. So really there are two, two different things, two different beasts. And, uh, oh, here's my friend, Joey. Hey buddy, how are you? You wanna say hello to everybody? No, not right now, right? Okay, back to the video. So it just depends on what, what you want. Of course, cost-wise, just the OTA uh, in Canadian on this guy, you're, you're looking at about uh, $450 Canadian uh, after tax. And then this guy, you know, you are looking at about 3,500 just for the OTA after tax. So it's a huge difference, but you never have to worry about collimation on this guy like you do on that guy, but um, you know, you gotta pay for that. And also, as you can see, portability wise is a huge difference, at least twice. Uh, actually, the, ref the reflector is not even all the way to where the, um, uh, to the end of the focuser, but it's at, at least double. Anyway, that's what it is. Two different six inch scopes. There are two different reasons. One, if you just don't want, never want to collimate, worry about that. 
You want the best planetary images you could get at a reasonably uh, low cost as far as a Apple Chromatic is concerned. And that one, if you want to do more wider field of views, um, both can do imaging very well. But of course, the refractor is just so big, you probably would need an EQ8 type of thing to hold it fairly steady for imaging, but both can do it. Uh, overall, on a, a lower budget, this one would be better for imaging. Uh, it can go on uh, EQ5, HEQ5, Easy and EQ6, again, type of thing. So guys, you decide what you like better. Cheers. Joe Jaguar. Like, comment, and subscribe.